Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by. So I've been having this chair that's been laying around the house and the chair is an eyesore. So I decided to take it upon myself to bring it back to life and just give it some TLC. If you would like to find out how I bring this chair back to life just continue watching. To start off I'll be using vinegar and water to wipe down the chair. Next, I'll be using Gorilla wood glue to attach these loose parts back together. I will be using a generous amount of wood glue for a long lasting hold. Here, I'm just using a hammer for some reinforcement. I will have a complete list of everything I use in the description bar below. Here I'm just simply wiping off any remaining glue. After wiping down all remaining glue, let the chair dry overnight. Next I'll be sanding down the bottom part of the chair before I begin spray painting. Before spray painting, just make sure to wipe off any remaining dust. Next, I'll be applying one coat of white Rust-Oleum spray paint. Then, I apply the metallic gold. I also give it a coat of Mod Podge just to seal in the gold paint. After the chair was dry, I applied sliders on all four legs and I also used hot glue just to make sure they hold. Next, I'll be sawing off both arms of the chair. This will actually give me more room and more seating positions. Next, I took a piece of cardboard and measured the top of the chair and cut it out 21 by 25 inches. And then I took it and started rolling it very tightly so I will have a nice curve to work with. Next, I took the piece of cardboard that I just cut out and started stapling it in front of the chair using a staple gun. Next, I'll be taking project foam, tracing the upper part of the chair. Next, I glue the foam onto the chair and cut the remaining foam according to the shape of the chair. You may also use adhesive spray to attach the foam onto the chair. After making my lines with a ruler in the pattern that I want, I also place the little stars so I can start cutting out the holes for my tuffing. I also forgot to mention that every hole that I'm cutting are 3 inches apart going across and 3 inches going down. Next I'll be gluing on the batting and pulling it very tightly, then stapling it to the back of the chair. Here I'm just simply cutting off the remaining of the batten.
Don't forget to cut the holes once you apply the batten. This will actually guide you when you're doing your toughen. Next, I'll be using 1 8 washers and a half inch screws. When doing your toughen, just flip the material over and feel where all the holes are at before you place your screw. I'll be using a drill, but you may also use a staple gun to do your toughen. Remember, when doing your toughens, just keep stretching the material so you'll have better toughs. I also added hot glue on each screw for a much better hold. Here I'm just simply stretching the material tightly and stapling it to the back. Here I'm just simply pulling the fabric down and securing it with a staple gun. Here I just simply took a piece of foam and traced it into the outline of the seating of the chair. I made three and glued them all together. Next I'll be using this beautiful navy blue fabric for the seating. I turned the fabric over and started stapling it with using my staple gun as closely to the edge of the back of the chair as possible. Once I glue the seating foam onto the chair, I'll be placing the fabric over, stretching the fabric as I go, and stapling it using my staple gun underneath the chair. Here I'm just simply cutting off four corners of the fabrics to make it easier for myself to staple around the legs. Next I'll be taking a half inch foam and tracing the back part of the chair and then cutting it to size. Next, I'll be taking the fabric and placing the foam on top and cutting it to shape the foam. Next, I'll be gluing the edges of the fabrics to the foam. Then I use hot glue to attach it to the back. Here I took these large gems that I got from Walmart and spray paint them gold. I glued each gem and covered up all the screws. I also use gold gem wrap to cover up the edges of the back side of the chair and the imperfections, and also to add some glam. I really love the way this chair turned out and the navy blue and gold is perfect for any home. Just by taking a broken down chair, giving it some TLC and some glam, it'll be suitable for any home.
I really hope you enjoyed this week's DIY video as much as I enjoyed making it. And don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. The gold pool noodle column and the nail polish bases DIY videos will be linked below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share it with friends and family, and hit the notification bell so when I upload future videos. Bye.